What's up, everybody? I've got a super sick and possibly unexpected buff and change here for AZ's Floet or Eternal Flower Floet. These guys will be obtainable via Island Scan, probably in Ula Ula Meadows. At that point in a game, something like this, while incredibly powerful, is nothing broken or overpowered at all. Um, the power levels in this ROM are very, very high. Uh, they have bad HP, bad defense. They're not that fast, but they are incredibly powerful. I did mirror Florges' stats, hence why the special defense is, is dropped. I just thought it was cool that it's like special attack and special defense are flipped from Florges. Um, and in general, this guy is awesome. So very dark typing. There are two others in Mega Absol and Gothitelle. You can check out those videos, or uh, I honestly just encourage you to check out the Google Sheet and look at all that stuff uh, for yourself because every single move for the most part is buffed or changed in this hack and is a very detailed move guide. And a lot of those are really relevant. Uh, basically all of them are super important to understand how the Pokemon function now. And if you're just clicking on this video because you saw, you know, a super obscure Pokemon in the thumbnail, then welcome. Uh, very dark typing. This is super sick, in my opinion, because it's like life and death, you know, like it's the eternal flower, XY, you know, Yveltal Xerneas. So it's kind of like a mix between the two and it has both Xerneas and Yveltal's ability. Um, very on Dark Aura, I'll give a 30% boost, but with Stab, it's essentially a 95% boost because of the way math works. So it's pretty much adaptability, but for only one type, slightly weaker, of course, than adaptability, but it's two times versus 95. Like it's 95 versus 100% boost, basically. So it's not really... Um, a big deal. Uh, and in general, he's an absolute nuke. That 154 base special attack with incredibly powerful moves like Oblivion Beam and Radiant Outburst, Twilight Cannon and Fleur Cannon, uh, Eternal Beam, and then of course just regular stab moves like Dark Pulse and Revelation Dance. You also have priority in the form of Pixie Dust. You've got good utility moves as well. Um, good coverage, Aura Sphere, Mystical Fire, Earth Power, you know, same moves as Florges essentially. Um, because it is still, you know, this little flower guy that can use like grass moves and Earth power and a lot of fun stuff, and it's just—it's so sick. Um, that speed tier will hold it back a lot. Keep in mind, Fairy Dark is no longer neutral to bug; it is weak to bug now because Fairy doesn't resist bug anymore. So the ever so the, the ever present first impression in this hack will completely shit on Az's Floet and kill it in one hit. Um, all kinds of other strong priority moves will easily shit on AZ's Floet, not to mention it's not that fast, you're gonna have to run a Choice Scarf to outspeed a lot of things, which is really not a big deal because in game you can always just switch it in, uh, pivot in, and then you can use that Choice Scarf to outspeed something, or you can use like Specs Pixie Dust with Fairy Aura to kill something, or you can use a bulkier set, um, like an Assault Vest set with Draining Kiss would be pretty fun, um, or Giga Drain, or you can just run that Assault Vest to check a certain special attacker, switch in, check it, kill it with whatever move you want to use, and then switch out. Um, for example, if you're not running Assault Vest, you can then Parting Shot out on the next Pokemon if you're faster than it or if you can take another hit, but keep in mind your physical defense and HP is very poor. Um, I did drop HP a bit just to make it more soulful to match Florge's stats better because it's 78-78. I, I said make it 67-67. Also because HP is based more on size now as well and Floet is pretty tiny. Um, it does have more HP than actual Floet, but like that's just the nature of what it is you know it's this little exclusive pokemon kind of like a legendary but not really um it does have the same stat total as florges as well 550 is very standard um yeah this is nothing overpowered at all there's a lot of crazier stronger things but in terms of like just sheer dps yeah it's definitely up there um with those oblivion beams and radiant outbursts boosted by the aura abilities coming off of that giant special attack stat um like i said i think it fits really well because of that whole like life and death eternal life the Veltozernia stuff. I think it's just so cool. It's a really cool idea. Um, and I like it. It's really fun. Very, very usable. Um, you know, you gotta be careful with it. It also gets Blossom Dance at level 70, which is pretty crazy. That gives you plus two speed and plus one special attack. However, setup in general is heavily nerfed, not only just because, I mean, in this case, first impression on the AI will force you to run Protect if you're smart about it. And then you're also wasting a TM, uh, a level up. Holy crap, what am I trying to say? You're wasting a, a, a move slaughter, right? On Protect, in that case, just to check first impression. You could also run it under Psychic Terrain and stuff to bypass first impression and other priority moves. But in general, the main issue is not just first impression. There's also things like priority heart swap, whirlwind, roar, and all kinds of other stuff that the AI can use to check your setup sweepers. But in general, you can still probably get a few kills with Blossom Dance if you're smart about it and when you click it or if you get the conditions right and you, you know, set up certain things the right way. But in general, great, great Pokemon. I don't really know what else to say. Um, it's got good utility moves as well. Not that you would necessarily want to use them, but you know, it's got a good special defense stat. It's got a solid speed stat. Um, you can check out where it currently stacks up speed wise against all the other Pokemon in the hack. Um, on this little speed tier guide here, there's tons of other useful guides on the uh, description below, but 
if you check 97, it does tie with Pokemon like Haxorus and Crookedile, and then it's outsped by, you know, a couple other Pokemon, and then a bunch of other 100s, 110s, 105s, 115s, all these guys outspeed it. So like I said, it's not that great of a speed tier, but it's good enough, and you do have a good special defense stat, so it's not like it's a complete glass cannon. Um, and you can always just slap a Soy Scarf on for certain fights to outspeed a specific Pokemon. Uh, Doom Desire is really fun. Dismal Cry, Disarming Voice are great utility moves. Aromatic Mist is really good. Um, Heart Swap is useful for totems especially. Uh, and then you have powerful stabs, like I said, Moonblast, Revelation Dance are great. And then of course the nuke ones, which drop your special attack by 4 and are 180 base power and have 3 PP. Those guys are pretty fucking crazy. Um, very, very fun. Complete overkill, honestly. You don't even need it. <laughs> it's so overkill. Even like Moonblast and Dark Pulse and Dazzling Gleam and all these moves are already very strong with this special attack stat and Dark Aura and Fairy Aura. Keep in mind, there's tons of bulky crap in this hack too. It's not all just raw offense. Um, and there's tons of offensive and defensive counterplay to any type of you know strong pokemon like this um i don't even know if a trainer will be using it i don't know if there's any trainers that fit to have it besides literally az maybe like mina could have it for fun or something i don't know but in general um i think i've covered everything it's just a great pokemon good coverage incredibly powerful stabs and you can cycle between fairy aura and dark aura with that infinite usability capsule which is really cool um nasty pot is cool but like that's not really that great in game. I guess with Pixie Dust, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, nice to play Pixie Dust with Variora. But in general, you're not fast enough. And like, if you're going to set up with Izzy Slight, you'd rather use Calm Mind or Blossom Dance, probably. Uh, not that Nice Pot's useless. I mean, maybe for one specific boss fight, you outspeed a specific Pokemon and you need plus two to kill it or something stupid like that. I don't know. It's always situational. There's always, you know, sky's the limit with Pokemon. Uh, in terms of you know exploiting the ai and all that fun stuff but i'll leave the video off there i think i'm rambling for long enough uh hopefully this was uh, entertaining hopefully this is interesting Let me leave a like down below holy crap i'm misspeaking a lot <laughs> leave a comment down below let me know what you think make sure you also drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, i'll be back for more callus pokemon coming up i really do think this guy's super cool it's super super fun to use like this would be so awesome uh yeah bye everybody